and welcome to the fifth episode of the Blocks of Games Unity 3D How to Make a Zombie FPS game series. Now, in this episode, we're going to be creating the player's first gun and scripting it all up and setting it all up so that it shoots bullets and takes damage from the enemy. Sorry, it's been a while, I've just had to work around this and to try and get some ideas on what to do and how to do it so it's I've just been testing it testing it for this episode so first of all what we're gonna need to do is create three new folders art which you don't need to worry about this at the moment I've that's just because I deleted the texture off this one um, audio and models so then what you're going to need to do is go to your browser and go to this website here tf3dm.com slash 3d-models slash all or you can just search 3d models and you can find whatever 3d models you want this one's really good because you get some really nice um, 3d models um, that look really good for free so what we're going to search for is just search a gun maybe so you've got all these ones to choose from and you can choose whatever you want to animate but I'm just gonna go with the M9 then what you want to do is download the file and it'll just take its time and it'll it has a weight to download so what we're going to do is go over to freesound.org and we're going to find a gun um, a shooting sound so we're going to say uh, oh, we can save this file shoot shoot M9 maybe Brita M9 uh, What about this one? I think we'll go with this one, this one's good So to download from here you need to log in. So create an account up here with register. I've already got one, so and you just want to download that. Save it. So then we're gonna to go to our uh, downloads and we don't need this is all this is old stuff. Uh, I don't need that one. Alright, so these are two files and what you want to do is unzip this one. And you can delete that. And you've got all your files and things in there, so then what you're going to do is just rename this to M9 for example and rename this one to M9 shoot and we're going to move these, so control X and move them into our um, unity assets folder So YouTube Zombie FPS assets. I'm just gonna put them both here for now and then put the M9 in models and put the M9 shoot into audio. So then we don't we can just minimize that one for now, minimize this for now. And this it'll just load in the assets that you put into input you put in before. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about the wait. Um, so, just clear that one. Error, sorry. And we'll just go into the models 
your M9 folder and this is your your model so you've got three of your different types these ones are different files um, can't remember which one is better we'll just delete this one we don't want this one and this one actually yep so this one's the FBX this is the 3DS this is the Max so like we'll go we'll probably go with the 3ds one so we'll delete the others and this is the one we're going to import so if we go over here we go to model um, there's not much we need to do uh, generate colliders and apply that then go back up go to rig and I had some trouble with this animation type I think I need to put it as generic apply and yeah it could, we need to have an avatar because I had some uh, very long problems that I had to take work out from that um, we'll just leave that for that now we might need to change it and we don't have any animation so we'll just untick that and apply that so then what we're going to do is drag this onto the f f under the first person controller and we're going to drag it under the main camera so that when the main camera moves where the camera moves and rotates the gun moves and rotates so right now it doesn't have any textures so I'm just going to change this into a bump diffuse um, drag the first texture onto that and I'm going to duplicate this so go to the models um, M9 texture control C control V and so we'll load it in and this is the copy so we're going to make this texture type as a normal map and that should be fine for that and we'll change it to that yeah so then we're going to go to go back over to our model and drag this normal map onto the second one and that just makes the texture grainy it makes it so that it looks better it looks realist, more realistic so right now it's a bit too bumpy so what we're going to do is go back to this one and change this to to apply and maybe a little more 1.5 apply and that's pretty good for now we might have to end up changing that but we'll fix that up later so what we want to do is with this one is just scale it down we'll actually move it forward first so we can see how big it is and we're just gonna scale it down probably do one sorry negative one No, that's not right, sorry. Uh, 0 0.5. 0 0.5. And 0 0.5. And that doesn't really look too good. Hmm. We'll just scale it down by this. And move it forward. Why is it not working? Oh, that's why. Zero. Control C, Control V. And that's that one. Scale it down a little bit more. and move it over it 
to the side of the screen and back a little bit. So let's just maximize this one. Now when you move them up, move them across a bit. Move them a little bit to the left, right. Okay, well that is about good for now. We'll stop playing around with that. And so we'll just play and let's see what happens. So that's that. We can't do anything with it now at the moment. But um, it's got colliders on it, which I don't know if we, we might actually end up changing that to get rid of it. But um, yeah, it does nothing at the moment. So what we're going to do is create the animation for the gun. And we're going to make it like knock back when you shoot. So how we do that is we go to the animation um, component, a uh, window. So you go window, animation, or control 6. And you need to select on the object and then you can add curve you go to create a new animation so we'll just do it in the models the M9 folder and we'll name this as the shoot animation so then we're going to what we want to do is because we want to kick back we just want to change the rotation of the object so rotation and we're going to add keys keys there and keys there so what we're just going to do is delete these keys for now and we're going to go to delete key add key we'll just leave that open for now um, but what we want to do is go to the first 10 seconds after or 10 frames after add key and what we're going to do is rotate it backwards so I think it's the um, Z Z axis No, not Z, um, Y. No, 